Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a just for fun video. I'm actually looking forward to this quite a bit because I love to give my unsolicited opinions on the internet, but I am going to be reviewing some of the most hyped brands today. I've done something similar to this in the past where I review the most sponsored brands and try them out and give you my unsponsored, honest, unfiltered thoughts. But these brands, I specifically asked y'all for the ones that you see just like super hyped up on social media. And a lot of these, honestly, I mean, I do see a lot of sponsorships for this one, but a lot of these are just like kind of naturally talked about a lot and not really sponsored. So I already owned some of them. I bought some of them for this video based off of the ones you wanted to see and have been trying them for the last month or two and I'm ready to give you my thoughts. So the brands that I, or products that I am going to be reviewing today are Athletic Greens, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, Blue Land Cleaning Products, Slip, I got the silk hair ties for this video, Skims, Caraway Pots and Pans, and lastly, Olaplex. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with this. Like I said, this is the only one that I do see sponsorships for, but it is so talked about and I had to include it. This is Athletic Greens. They're like a little greens powder that you mix into water. This is actually my second tub and I've also gone through some of the little travel packs as well. So I've been using them. I would say I remember to use it four days a week for the last couple months. And these are my thoughts, pricey but I am very impressed with all of the ingredients that they fit into this. They have prebiotics, probiotics, a ton of different greens, vitamins, minerals, am impressed with that. And so seeing all those great healthy things in this, I assumed this was gonna taste terrible. And I will say it doesn't taste bad, but the taste definitely threw me for a loop. It has kind of like a vanilla protein powder type taste to it. The hack that I have learned is it's helpful to drink this with a straw, and it's helpful to drink this very quickly. If you take your time sipping this, something happens, something settles at the bottom of your glass that tastes super metallic and tart and honestly just really gross. So if you drink it really quickly, it's all incorporated and it all has that kind of fake vanilla flavor to it, which is better than the alternative. I feel at least mentally and emotionally better the days I take this because even if I have pizza for lunch, I know, okay, I still got in some veggies. I still got in some micronutrients that are good for me and good for my gut and good for my skin. So overall, I like it. I'd say taste is okay. Price is up there, but I am impressed. Next, the infamous lip sleeping mask. I am almost out of this one. I don't know if you can see. I'm almost to the bottom. I get the hype. I will say the first couple days I used it, I was like not quite used to the consistency, but now that I'm used to it, I love it a lot. My only complaints are the, the container isn't the most sanitary, but I believe that they sell this in the tube also. I've just never bought it that way. Um, so I would maybe suggest getting the tube. I don't know if the formula is any different, if this is maybe thicker, I'm not exactly sure, but the smell, is delicious. It's like kind of a sweet berry, kind of like a strawberry. I actually wonder what they're going for. Oh, berry mix complex. There we go. The price yet again, at first glance, I was like, that is overpriced for this, but I use this pretty consistently and have had it for months now and still have some left. It lasts a lot longer than I expected it to. So the price per use breaks down to a lot less than I expected it to. Overall, love it, but we'll be buying the tube next to see if that's just a little more sanitary, easy to throw in a bag, easy to travel with, all that kind of stuff. But I get the hype. I get it. I get it. Next is Blue Land Cleaning Products. And I actually bought this one for this video because it was very highly requested. I hadn't even really heard of it. So I have a clip of me initially unboxing it and then like I have some, some footage of me setting them all up as well. So here's to me unboxing it so you can see that experience. So I think I just got like the normal cleaning kit. Can't even remember what it has in it, but it is cool that these are reusable containers. So it's much better for the planet. Looks like we have the hand soap, glass and mirror cleaner. These are little tablets, it feels like, that I guess dissolve multi-surface cleaner, bathroom cleaner. This must be, yep, it's labeled 
the hand soap bottle. This actually feels very sturdy and very nice. Look at how thick the glass is on the bottom there. I like the fact that it's glass and not plastic. I bet these are plastic. I would, I would guess. I was right. I do like that these have the label already on them, but I will say that I think that this actual container might look a little cheap. The glass and mirror container. And the multi-surface container. And this says how to use, you fill with warm or hot water, drop the tablet, wait for it to dissolve, and then get cleaning. So let's do that. <laughs> what? Okay. After using it for a while, I, I like the formulas. I have nothing really to say except for, I will say I was quite impressed with the glass cleaning formula. That is one that I noticed is like better than the average glass cleaner. It left no streaks. But in terms of the multi-surface in the tub, I'd say they're average. Nothing really great to say, nothing bad to say about it either. I was impressed with the amount of foam that the hand soap made, but also I don't really foresee myself using the hand soap because I have like little fancy hand soaps that bring me a lot of joy that I use. Anyways, I will say the bottles leak a little bit and I don't necessarily love the look of the bottles. They're cheap, plastic, but the nozzle on the bottles is great. It like is a thin spray with like a big radius that is just really nice. It's like a, ooh, it's like a whisper. I recently also got this brand from Thrive Market. They call it Rosie, which is kind of the same concept, except for their bottles are much nicer. They're glass, they have the wood, and they're just kind of more aesthetic, but the spray nozzle isn't as great, and um, I do like that these have the labels on them, multi-surface, whereas this I wrote on here, glass, because there was no other way to label which one was which. So sometimes it helps to compare products to similar products to know like the things that they did well, the things that I think that they could do better on. If I were them, I would just, I would, I would up the quality of the actual container and keep this really great nozzle. I have a lot of requests for slip. Slip makes a lot of like highly hyped things. They have the eye mask, they have the hello case, and they have the hair ties. I figured for now I would start with the hair ties because I don't sleep with an eye mask and then I have pillowcases that I love that match my sheets. And these hair ties are yet again quite pricey for a single little, well, they normally come in three pack, but I got a three pack of these. And at first I was like, oh, I can get these for like a dollar. Why am I paying this much? But I will say, I do see a difference. The elastic inside of these feels thicker and has a better hold. So like high ponytails stay in place a lot better. And the material itself, I can't tell a huge difference between this real silk and the like knockoff version, but I will say that this holds so much better and I can tell isn't stretching out over time. I do still get a little bit of a crease whenever I do a high ponytail, probably less than a traditional elastic, and they are really cute. They look cute in the hair as well. And this pack that I bought had um, a little tie around them that you could have a little kind of bow effect if you'd like. I have lost those over time, so I just have the hair ties themselves. So long as you don't lose your hair ties, it is worth the price point because they do a really good job. If you lose hair ties, skip it go with the knockoff. <laughs> Let's talk about skims. I have been searching for good cotton thongs for a long time, and this was one of the ones that I ended up trying from skims, and they ended up being out of the options in the market. My favorite, I still don't love them. If I could design my own, I would do some things differently, but I do love the colorways. I think that the colors are really cute. I do love that it's a ribbed cotton and 100% cotton along like the body of it. And then I love the high-waisted, high-leg cut of these. The things I don't love is I wish that there was more fabric on the back, like just a little bit more, I think would be more flattering. Definitely way more worth it when I think you buy three, you get a discount. Otherwise, I would say too pricey per pair unless you bundle the three and get the discount. But I also went ahead and got a little lounge set which has these like high-waisted boxers and this matching little triangle bra. I love the boxers. I think they're very flattering, very cute, very comfortable to sleep in, to lounge in. Um, they have enough fabric to where I don't feel too exposed down the leg, 
Um, I would say maybe like a three inch inseam down the leg. The triangle bra is very cute and the waistband gives a little bit of support, but otherwise not a lot of support for how tight that can be. I would say either let's do no support and make it super comfy to sleep in or mm, I would like a little, a little bit more somehow. But you know, maybe it's just a sizing issue on my part. I would say it's cute, it's flattering. Something about it isn't 100% comfortable, but overall, I think, it's, I think it's cute. I did, however, really want to review the kind of shapewear. I ordered the high-waisted, almost like Spanx for my sister's wedding, and I got the order in, and it just wasn't in the box. <laughs> so I was like, maybe it'll come later, and I waited, and it did not come separately. So I emailed them, and they just refunded me. So I need to place a new order to actually get those in and try them, because I'm curious to know what the hold is like, but, and in terms of the underwear and the kind of more popular style of loungewear. Comfortable, cute, pricing isn't terrible. I get it. Is it like life changing? No, I would do a couple things differently, but I get it. Let's talk about Caraway, which is the pots, pans, bakeware brand. I actually own all of it, the pots, pans, and some of the bakeware. And so I'm gonna give you my thoughts on Caraway, and then I actually also own the Our Place Always Pan, and I feel like a question I see a lot is which one is more worth it. So first, diving into Caraway, quite pricey, but so beautiful. The non-stick has really held up. I do have one pan that has some burn marks from some meat that I don't know how to get off. Um, otherwise, if I've been very gentle, they have really held up. I've had this one since November. Love the storage. So they come with these magnetic little storage containers that can kind of configure together however you want to hold the pots and pans. And then it also comes with a organizer that hangs inside of a cabinet door for the lids. One complaint that I do have about the lid organizer is it was too wide for my cabinets and then the little stickers can only be used once to hang them. So I first tried to hang it inside of my cabinet, it was a little too wide, the cabinet doors wouldn't close. So then I tried to move it to my pantry, but they wouldn't stick. So then I had to go buy command hooks to rehang it in my pantry and it hangs on my pantry door just fine. But I'd maybe recommend before buying it, if that's like one of the selling points for you, like it was for me, measuring your cabinet doors, figuring out the dimensions of that to see if it fits, see if there's another spot you wanna hang it in case it doesn't. I have hardly used the bakeware and that's probably lifestyle. I am much more apt to doing a little skillet meal nowadays than actually like baking something. So if you're debating between getting all of the things or just starting with the, with the pots and pans, I would recommend maybe just starting with the pots and pans, but this was one of the couple things that I splurged on when moving into this apartment, and honestly, I'm really glad I did. But let's compare it to the Our Place Always Pan. The Our Place Always Pan is pricier for the single pan, but can do so much more and saves space. So I would say if your concern is budget and space, go for the Always Pan um, because you can do multiple things with just one of them so you don't have to buy multiple things and store multiple things. But in terms of quality, this just feels so professional, so heavy, so, so nice. So I would say that maybe this is like a slight step above in terms of quality, but if quality is lesser to price point and convenience and storage, then maybe go with the Always Pan. Olaplex, okay. I've tried number four and five, the shampoo and conditioner. And then I've also tried, this is my second bottle of the number eight, which is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I also actually forgot about this, the bonding oil. Here's my thoughts. The first few times that you use the shampoo and conditioner, especially magic, magical. Same thing with the mask, though I would say not quite as intense of results. But the common thing you hear, besides the complaints of some of the ingredients potentially being unsafe, is that if you use it a lot, your hair gets really brittle and thin. And I was actually asking my friend, who's a hairstylist about this, she told me it's something called over-proteinization, probably said that wrong, but where your hair gets too much protein. So it's a, the same active ingredient in all of their products. And if you were to use them all, often it could actually be too much for your hair. She said, this is coming from her, not me. It's fine to use every once in a while. So I've had the shampoo and conditioner for quite a while. 
um, but I only have been incorporating it into my hair care routine maybe twice a month. And then I've been using this a little more frequently. I should probably calm down and it does make a big difference, but I might also be overdoing it. Love the smell. The smell is so delicious. I think overall I can say I'm a fan. The hair oil also smells delicious, makes a subtle difference here. Actually, I don't have any hair oil on my hair today. So a few drops look like that. The smell is the same, kind of like a sweet floral fragrant smell. It's definitely easy to accidentally use too much of this, but if anything, kind of feels like a good hair refresh and does add a little bit of shine and bounce, in my opinion. Maybe do your research about the ingredients because I've heard mixed reviews in terms of that, and it is a great product so long as you use it very sparingly and not too often. And there is one final thing that I forgot to mention because I had it lit in the background of my last video, and this was one that I have heard hyped a lot and I wanted to try for my sake. And this is Le Labo's Candles. I did want to film the unboxing experience of this as well, so let's go ahead and hop to that and then I'll give you my thoughts. I ended up ordering this Le Labo candle. I believe I got it from Nordstrom's website because it had the cheapest, quickest shipping, but I got Santal 26 and this is the box that it comes in. So let's see what it's like on the inside. Ooh, okay, first there is a card that says merci and i do like that it's almost like punched stamped in a sense this has candle care what happens now what happens later oh and you can refill things at le labo's location okay here we have it the scent is delicious it smells very good but at first note this sticker actually isn't applied completely flush um, there's a few bubbles in it, which interesting, but the smell, the smell's delicious. And I'm going to go ahead and light this today and see how much the smell will fill a room. Cause I feel like that is something that is, is important to note when you spend this much on a tiny candle. <laughs> Can we just say this is ridiculous? This little tiny candle is $80. That's kind of painful. It smells great. It smells great. Um, and I will say when it was lit in my den, which is like my whole den kitchen area, the smell was, wasn't very strong, but then I had it in the background of the last video I filmed. And in here, the smell was quite strong, maybe a little bit too much. It is very much one of those things that people, I think just buy it for the name brand because you can get a Santal scented candle elsewhere. And I'm sure the smell would be similar enough to where people wouldn't know. It was fun to try it out because I was curious and the glass is really nice. Could be recycled, maybe as some cool little like whiskey glasses. But my opinion, this is not worth $80 could find a just as good very nice candle for $30 you know what I mean maybe if you really wanted to hack the system save the sticker and put it on your next one or or buy some wax and some Santal um, fragrance and then just like put your own inside of this container over and over I don't know but I would not rebuy this $80 for a candle like how out of touch is that <laughs> I'm so sorry it's so out of touch <laughs> so those are my thoughts on some of the more overhyped products I've seen lately on Instagram and all the places, YouTube, honestly, too. This is fun for me. I love doing things like this. So let me know if there are any other brands you want to kind of throw in the hat if we do another version of this video eventually. I'm going to try my best to link all these things down below as well in case there's any that you were looking at getting for yourself. And this was, this was fun. Thank you for letting me do fun little videos like this. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. So give me a sign, give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, talking to here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here?